Hey, what's up guys? Today we have some incredible news for the jailbreak scene. We've heard directly from Ian Beard regarding not only an iOS 12 jailbreak, but the potential of an iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak. So I'll just get directly into the news today, but again, check the link down below. It's a dynamic link that stays up to date with the latest jailbreaking information. Also, the second link down below will take you directly to the tweets discussed in this video. All right, let's get directly into the news. Ian Beer stated on Twitter, the iOS 12 security bulletin seems to only include iOS bugs this time as opposed to those which affect iOS and macOS. There are far more fixes in iOS 12 than are mentioned, including a nasty logic bug to break out of the app sandbox. Update your personal devices. So basically what he's saying from what I can gather here is if you're not intending on jailbreaking, definitely update your devices to iOS 12 for better security. And in regards to an iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak, Ian followed that up by saying, and if you're using the MPTCP slash VFS exploits for security research, e.g. with Electra 11.3.1, you should just keep using that. I'll release the 11.4.1 exploits I have, so that's awesome news, but he says from now on the focus will be on iOS 12. So that is just incredible news, again paired with the news that we found out yesterday regarding the iOS 12 untethered jailbreak demo. It looks like we may be seeing a jailbreak for iOS 12 as well as iOS 11.4.1 sooner than we expected. But again, he has yet to release anything. He is just announcing this. Granted, Ian Beer is the main security researcher behind the major kernel exploits for the 11.3.1 and 11.1.2 jailbreaks for iOS 11. So this is from an extremely trusted source of information. It's incredible news, guys, that we might actually be getting new exploits, especially for 11.4.1. Presumably, those will work on 11.4 as well to produce an actual jailbreak for that. Once Ian Research is released to the public, all Coolstar will have to do is update the Electra jailbreak, and presumably, if there's no other steps required, it shouldn't take too long to get the 11.4.1 jailbreak. So if you guys are looking to jailbreak soon, and you're on 11.4.1, deciding whether to upgrade to iOS 12 or not, I personally would just stay where you're at. Again, if you are on iOS 12, or if you're planning to upgrade to iOS 12, Definitely stay on 12.0 or 12.0.1 if that comes out in the near future. What I'm saying is definitely don't upgrade to the iOS 12.1 beta 1 that was just released yesterday. Stay on the lowest possible firmware that you can on iOS 12 and or on iOS 11.4.1. Now, while we're on the topic of 11.4.1, I just wanted to mention that it is still being signed by Apple, meaning you can still downgrade to this firmware. Now, we don't know how long this signing window will remain open, so if you guys are intending on jailbreaking and potentially want a jailbreak sooner than later, I would highly suggest if you're on iOS 12, just to downgrade to 11.4.1 while the signing window is open. But what we can gather from these tweets is that there's more fixes in iOS 12 than are mentioned in the release notes, so it could be harder to actually jailbreak. That being said, Ian Beer is on the case investigating all of the security flaws within iOS 12, so hopefully within a couple of months, we might actually see a new kernel level exploit for iOS 12, which again is the main cream of the crop when it comes to exploits. In any case, guys, this is the very first step towards an iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12 jailbreak. We have security researchers working on finding bugs and vulnerabilities, turning them into exploits, and once their research is released, then the community can take it upon themselves to combine those with other exploits and eventually put it all into an end user utility, which jailbreaks your device. In any sense, it's awesome to see that we not only have certain developers working on actually exploiting iOS, but then we have other developers working on making jailbreaking even better for the community and easier to use. So guys, jailbreaking by no means is dead. This is an awesome thing to be excited about, guys. So I'll keep you guys updated if we hear any new information from Ian Beer. If anything else comes out, when if he finally releases his exploits, I'll be sure to make a video updating you guys as well. Again, if you guys don't want a video, check out the first link in the description. It is dynamically updated, so when anything new comes out, it is pushed 
to that link directly. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are staying on iOS 11.4, 11.4.1, or if you're updating to iOS 12. I'm just curious to see what the general vibe is, if everyone is jumping on the iOS 12 ship, or if they're waiting for a jailbreak. In the end, like, subscribe, and all that stuff if you want to stay updated. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.